Yisrael Nikru Banim. This is Avastir Reb Nassim. Klal Yisrael are called Banim, children of Hashem. Banim Atem Hashem Alekechem. We are Hashem's children. Malachi Asharis are also Nikru Banim. Angels who never sin and never mess up are also called Banim Hashem's children. Vayavayu Bnei Ha'alekim. Frek the Medrash of Esther Nassim. Vi'iyata Yodeya Eze Ahov Mehem. And I don't know which one does Hashem love more? The angels who never mess up, who always listen to everything that, they're, that Hashem tells them to do, that behave like angels. That's why they're called angels. Or, Klal Yisrael, Chorben Bayes Rishen, Chorben Bayes Sheni, Slach Lanovi Nu, Ein Tzadik Baritz, Shiasa Toivel HaYechta, Hashem Nu Bagan Nu Gozal Nu, Blah, 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 Achet, 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 Constant sin, Constant sin, Am Kshay Oyerev, all kinds of horrible, horrible stuff that we've done. And the angels next to us don't do any of that. And Avis Tereb Nassim says, I don't know which one Hashem loves more. You have, you have a kid who's an angel? They just, they work like an APK, an autopilot kid. They just, the batteries were put in when they were born. And smooth sailing. Yes, mommy. Sure, mommy. They come home and they actually do homework. And then they say, would you like some help? Do you need any help? No fits, no anger, no depression, no anxiety, no crazy, no drugs, no kill, nothing. You have an angel. And you have another kid now, but dysfunctional kid, kid in pain, dysfunctional, up all night, sleep all day. Which one do you love more? <laughs> Which one do I love more? Let's think deeply. Hashem had the same issue. He has angels that do whatever they want, whatever he wants, never mess up, cause Hashem no grief. And then he has us. We're so proud of ourselves. A lot of grief. A lot of grief. He had to make a day in the year called Yom Kippur. Oh, I know you're going to mess up because you're humans and you're, not, and you're never going to be perfect. And I'm going to make a spiritual car wash for you. I got I, I to gotta clean you and I got to forgive you and I got to constantly forgive you. We are marbe lachte, marbe lesleach, and marbe lesleach because there's more sin every day. Another problem, another dysfunction, another craziness. We use Hashem's money that He gives us and we spit it in His face. We use the kaiches that He gives us and we spit in His face. And we were oiv de avay zara, literally spitting in His face. You don't even run the world. And we have kaichi v'aitzim yadi, spit in His face. Constant grief in Agmas Nefesh. And the Medrash says, we don't know. Who is more chavav? Who is more lo- beloved to Hashem? Kishu Oimer. B'ni b'chayr Yisrael. In our Pasha Shemois, when it says that Hashem says, B'ni b'chayr Yisrael, my firstborn Yisrael, Atem chavivin lefanai yoiser mimalache hasharis. Hashem is saying, you're my b'chayr. B'chayr is a lashon of ava and chiba of love. B'chayr Rashi says, lashon gedula. A language that is talking about greatness. Says the Avastar Reb Nassim, we see from here, because we were called the firstborn, that Hashem loves us with all of our dysfunction and all of our evil stuff that we do. He loves us more than heavenly angels. He loves us more than Malachi Asharis. That sounds like a bombshell. Gets even better. Nesiva Shalom says, hold on. When... When did Hashem say we are B'ni B'chayri Yisrael? When did He tell us that I love you more than heavenly angels who never mess up? So we would think, Maimon Har Sinai. We would think, when we're on the highest level, Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur by Nila. No. Bowing down to idols. We were bowing down to idols. Correct. We were on Mem Teshari Tumah, almost lost forever. We said, you don't run the world, God. These idols run the world. We even made our own Getsch Gestiblach, it says that. That we made probably the guy and probably Davin at seven. We wanted to have seven, eight, nine, ten, and have coffee and, and have a minion factory. So, whoa, we were so enslaved that we had no time, energy, money, or effort. All of a sudden, we have money for a new Stiebel, an effort that says we built it in our things to serve idols. For this, you have money and time and energy, but you don't have energy to, to Davin to Hashem. We were horrible, we were on the lowest level. And then the first thing, it starts off, Hashem says to Moshe, go to Paroi and tell him, do you know who you're messing with? Kip, my Kip. 
my beloved kid, who I love more than anything in the entire world, even though he's dysfunctional, using my credit card, stealing, doing drugs, whatever it is. Do you know who you're messing with, Parai? B'ni b'chayri Yisrael, my firstborn. Actually, Hashem created angels before us. They are the b'char. But we get the title b'char because He loves us with all our dysfunction more than angels. That's what it says here. So why? Why did Hashem choose to tell us and call us B'ni B'chari Yisrael specifically now when we were on the Mem Tashari Tumah? You know why? If Hashem would have called us B'ni B'chari Yisrael, I love you so much. When we function, we have a job, we wake up in the morning at 6 a.m. and we go to Daf Yemi and we're on the Mem Tashari Kedusha. You know what we would think? Yeah. My tati loves me. My parents are proud of me when I'm sneeze, when I'm good, when I'm functioning. But if I drop, if we would ever drop under there, we would think, not anymore. Shem sabini b'chari Yisrael by Har Sinai, but not in Mitzrayim, not, not when we mess up. And it's not true. Because Hashem wants us to know that no matter what we do, b'ni b'chari Yisrael, I love you on the lowest level. If Hashem would have t- told us, I love you more than Malachi Asharis when we were on the Chaf Share Tumah, on the 20th level of Tumah, then you know what would have happened? If we ever went lower than the 20th level of Tumah, we think it's conditional. Yeah, we were only that bad. We only smoked weed a little bit, and we're Machal Shabbos of uh, the Rabbanon, but not Mem Shari Tumah. Therefore, HaKadosh Baruch Hu chose to let us know that we are more beloved than heavenly angels when we were on the Mem Shari Tumah, almost Shar Nun. To show and that it should be shown for us. Not because of your beautiful, wonderful deeds that you get the title of child of my child. It's unconditional and nothing's ever going to break that. Why did Hashem do that? We, we have parents who say, I don't want my kid to know that I'm going to love him no matter what. That's going to push him to just go ahead and why should he be from? Why should he be good? Why did Hashem tell us I'm going to love you no matter what? That means, I, oh, I could go break Shabbos. I can go eat on Yom Kippur. He's going to love me no matter what. Yeah, it's true. He will. That causes us not to give up. That's a relationship that even if I fall, Sheva Yipal Tzad, the kids are going to fall. We are going to fall. We need to know not when we're up how proud Mommy and Tati are of us. We need to know that when we're down, not to give up. Hashem knows we're going to sin, and He wants us to know. Don't think it changes one bit from my love and pride in you. I know who you really are. But what do you mean I'm bowing to idols? You're not bowing to idols. You missed the whole story here. 200 years of Galos, 200 years of Shibud. Nobody could withstand that. You went through childhood trauma. You went through abuse. You went through big Yetzirah, whatever it is. I know who you really are. The Yetzirah and the pain would disappear for one week. Where would the kid be? That's who he really is. But we pour on tremendous tsar and inu nefesh and shibud and abuse and, and, well, and a crazy world. We could do better. We're going to look down. We're going to say, I'm not proud of you because you're dysfunctional. I'm angry at you for struggling. I'm angry at you because you, you're challenged and you can't be successful in life. Chas v'shalom. That's when they need to know the most. I love you more than anything. Yeah, 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 down in the dumps, depressed, dysfunctional, doing the biggest Averis possible, just like Hashem told it to us. That's when you tell it to your kids. I'm with you. I'm never leaving you. I don't judge you because I know who you really are. I don't care what you do. That's not who you are. That's what you do. Temporary. Temporary insanity. But I know you're be'etzem good. You're be'etzem my child. You're be'etzem b'ni b'chay Yisrael. That's what Hashem told us. We needed this. We needed this. Otherwise, when we fell from grace after, after Har Sinai, we fell. We would have given up. Oh, he hates us now. Oh, he can't stand us. We're losers. So Hashem said, I'm going to tell you, I want you to know forever. And every time that you, you discuss this parasha, I want you to know. And that's why it says in the Siva Shalom, why we have to remember Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim twice a day. Why? Why do you, we have to remember Dafka Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim twice a day. Why don't we have to remember anything else twice a day? Especially, at night. Why? 
It says, because you need to get this into your thick skull, that no matter what you do, I will rescue you because I love you like crazy, even though you're dysfunctional and spitting in my face. We have to remember this by day and at night, when we're dark, when we're doing Averis, when our mind is full of Bilbal Adas, when our mind is full of dysfunction, that's when we need to remember it even more. And that's why, that's Lamantiska es, Lamantiska es yoyim, teischa, me'eret mitzrayim, kol yemei chayecha. Kol yemei means even at night. That's why we have to remember it. And this is what we have to tell our kids night and day, every night when they go to bed, every morning wake up, I will love you forever no matter what. I will never turn on you. I will never turn my back on you. I will never drop you. I will never blame you. I will never think that you became BAD. They may be ADD, ADHD, ODD, MP3, JFK. They're not BAD. They're not bad. And you have to ingrain that into every single child from the day that they're born. That is going in the way of Hashem to give your child thick skin, to know I am. I am Banim Atem Hashem Lakechem. I am Bani Bechar Yisrael to Hashem and to my mom and dad. They are proud of me. And you've managed, and you have to teach other people how to do that. That your child, even though he's not anything that you thought by the breast that he's going to be, he knows my parents love me like crazy. And that's why he's alive. And that's why he can thrive. Because if they feel it's over, my father only wants nachas, and otherwise the love and the pride is gone, they'll never make it. Just like we as a nation would never make it, and Hashem knew that, that's why He said this up front. First thing you need to know, that's the message our kids need to know. So every day, no matter what matzav they're in, they know that our love to them is unbreakable, and our pride in them is unshakable. That's our job. That's parenting. People think parenting is bedtime and punishing. You know? If you do this, you could do everything, whatever, you, whatever else you want to do with your kids. If you don't do this, you're not a parent.